Good Friday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A hot couple of days ahead as we go into the weekend, and also looking again some possible pollution problems. A little bit on the hazy side out across parts of the Mid South, and we have a code orange ozone alert going into effect. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you have plans for outdoors this weekend, again, temperatures expected to be back in the 90s. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Plus, we'll take a look at some of the webcams from around the Mid South and see what the outside air conditions are out there again looking at some possible problems out there the main thing we're looking at for today is again the possibility of ozone gas building up the haze that you see in the air over parts of the mid-south is due to normal society everyday needs for getting from one place to another transportation industry things of that nature anything on the electrical grid requires fossil fuels and that is again left over in the air around the mid-south especially in a large metropolitan area just like this and this is where we have the main concentration of pollution stacking up. Now sunlight coming in on this mixes in with this soup of chemicals that we all breathe in and it creates ozone gas in high concentrations, higher concentrations than normal. The atmosphere has been very stagnant over the last couple of days so that allows the pollutant level to really stack up. What we need is a large storm system to come in here and sweep all this out of here but until that happens it's going to be kind of unhealthy into parts of the Mid-South as we see again the potential for the stagnant side as we see again the potential for this problem out there into the rest of the day today so if you have lung ailments such as emphysema asthma stuff like that you should limit outdoor exertion first of all and foremost you should check with your health care professional as the code orange ozone alert will be in place until just after sunset tonight national weather service in memphis saying that there is a very good possibility we could see this extended into the weekend from the area around olive branch one of the underground webcam showing a decent clear sky out across much of the area some high thin clouds drifting on through sunlight and plenty of it around Ole Miss on the Crosby Hall construction cam looking back toward the Student Union as people go about their day on the Old Miss campus. View from the north end of Vaught Hemingway Stadium looks like it's getting a nice little redux there and plenty of sunshine in central areas of Lafayette County. Weather Almanac again the ultraviolet radiation forecast for today. If you're going to be doing anything outdoors for long periods of time you definitely want to make certain that you've got an SPF of at least 30 to make certain that you ward off the sun's rays and unfortunately for tomorrow current estimate is showing the possibility of another 9 to 10 type day to where there's going to be maximum solar radiation out there and that can be a lot of problem if you get sunburn again don't risk it make sure that you've got a good sun protection factor of at least 30 to 45 out across the mid-south because if you spend a lot of time out there it's not going to take long before you catch a sunburn and you want to try to avoid that if at all possible no rainfall across the area yesterday we're behind for the month by about an inch we're still ahead for the year by nearly 10 inches of rainfall so we've got a decent surplus that we picked up back in February and March and as for sunshine today we should be getting about 14 hours and 30 minutes tomorrow 14 hours 29 minutes into today sunrise at 545 sunrise tomorrow uh, sunset tomorrow should be at 815 instead of 814 about a minute off there heading the kids outdoors to get some experience in entrepreneurship it is going to be hot so add some more ice to the lemonade stand supply out there and again don't forget the sunblock if you're heading out the or relatively soon. Taking a look into the tropics, things are very quiet for right now in both the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and out into portions of the Atlantic. We see little of anything developing closer to home into around those particular areas. This is again, this particular area is very active at this time of the year. And likewise, looking out across parts of the Atlantic, things are decently quiet at this time. There's a lot of dust coming in from off the Sahara, so we have little, if anything, really showing up at this time that's going to be causing any problems as that dust continues to basically kind of filter out any storm development. So good news on that, but again, this could change within the course of the next couple of days. Tracking your weather into the rest of Friday. By the time the kids get done with vacation Bible school and summer camp, numbers will be in the high 80s to the lower 90s, right on in through the beginning of rush hour later on this evening. Heading into tonight, heading out the door, won't need the umbrella by sunset. Temperatures in the high 70s to the mid to high 80s. News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures dropping into the upper 60s to the mid to upper 70s. Daybreak tomorrow morning, we'll be looking at numbers back 
into the high 60s to lower 70s, so not exactly that cool as we head into tomorrow. And through the rest of the day, getting things done outdoors, it is going to be hot. Temperatures should be in the 90s by the time we work our way into lunchtime tomorrow. Early afternoon, could again see some more clouds drifting on through. And by News Channel 3 at 10, very much on the warm side with temperatures back in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. So the rest of the day, today, a few clouds around and temperatures back in the lower 90s. Tomorrow, temperatures back into the mid-90s with, again, a few more clouds clouds expected in the afternoon and evening. Sunday, the possibility of thunderstorms could be a problem into the area as we get into afternoon and evening especially. And through the rest of next week, including Flag Day on Tuesday, possibility of seeing showers and thunderstorms every single day. Not a washout by any stretch of the imagination and doesn't look like severe weather at this time, but if you have outdoor plans, this is what you're going to have to pay attention to. Especially stay tuned to News Channel 3 so we can keep you updated on what's going on out there. Extend Sending the forecast out to the 10-day, looking at, again, the possibility of more chances of sunshine by next weekend. Unfortunately, chances of showers and thunderstorms will continue from Sunday night right on in through about Friday afternoon. So outdoor activities really need to keep this in mind. Remember that if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are too close to the storm and you need to get back indoors again. Wait until 30 minutes until after the last lightning strike or the last rumble of thunder. Time things out from there, and once that storm has moved away, then you should be in the same zone no longer capable of getting struck by that thunderstorm but remember to start the clock again as you hear that light hear the thunder or see the lightning out there across the mid south international space station will be passing very close to the area around the horizon for later on this evening and it's going to be going from the northwest horizon about 946 to right around the northeast horizon decently close again to around the star polaris in the little dipper and that'll be happening again around 946 this evening should be a very bright pass very easily to be seen a little hazy out there so away from city lights and haze would be your best bet in catching this looking to the tail of the big dipper an iridium flare will be happening at around 836 tonight. If you'd like to be able to see this, again, look decently high up, right above the, the handle of the Big Dipper, and that will give you, again, the place to look for this Iridium satellite. Almost the same place as last night's pass. That was Iridium number 11. This one will be Iridium 3. Iridiums are a collection of communication satellites from a company that went bankrupt, and the satellites are still up there reflecting light across the area. You need to look for a bright point of light that will be fading in and then fading out just as fast. The whole thing will last about 10 to 15 seconds, so you have to be looking in the right location for this right before it happens. If you'd like more about that, head to my social media websites. Thanking everybody for sending in some great pictures over the course of the last couple of days, including for this morning, Robert Harlow 241. Thanks for a great sunrise picture from Enid Lake down in Mississippi, and I hope everybody manages to keep sending those in. Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WRAG3. If you'd like to see more about sunrise, sunset across the Mid-South, some great pictures out there. And thanks to everybody for sending those in, if at all possible. And also, don't forget about our News Channel 3 weather app is available at the App Store. Search WREG. You can download that today and stay up to date with what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. I'll have complete checks of your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. And, of course, we'll have more coming up here on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, as well. Tim and Jim will have your forecast into the weekend coming up later on tonight. So, again, heading out the door for whatever this evening. Umbrella not necessary, but might want to keep it handy as you go into the weekend as we see more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming back our direction, so stay tuned for more on that forecast starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 this afternoon. Direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our latest update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Friday, and stay tuned for more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online.